Hey guys, LG here from LG Films and today I'll be doing a tutorial on Vegas and I'll be covering up about rendering and I've done a video on that previously and um, I've got lots of emails and messages talking about um, that the problems that they're getting and they're saying that I've rendered uncompressed, my file size is huge and all that kind of things that covers about uncompressed and uh, the reason why I render uncompressed is because I don't only use Vegas I use Premiere, I use you know uh, Vegas, I use Zavid, I use After Effects and I have to transfer files you know a lot of times I transfer from my Vegas to Premiere to Premiere to Avid a lot of stuff like that and, and if you don't have the workflow like that you don't really have to render uncompressed and I know how ambitious you guys are to get really high quality out of your video but what you see is what you get if your camera can only give 35 um, bitrate that's all you gotta get you're not gonna improve any quality alright so what your camera can pull out that's what you're gonna get so there is no way that you're gonna improve quality you know if you wanna have the highest quality it's it, it basically means you're keeping the quality so I'm just gonna you know the reason why I render uncompressed is because it's uncompressed does not compress it's your file so you don't lose any details or any uh, file resolutions or any kind of quality and bitrate that's why the file size is huge and all the data is, and all that kind of stuff is uncompressed and that's the reason why I render uncompressed and I transfer files to editing programs to stuff and that is the reason why I used uncompressed but if you're uploading on web, Vimeo, YouTube it does not give a lot of huge difference. Try to do some trials and error. Try to render your videos at 4 MB. Try to render your videos at 6 MB and try to see the difference. You know, uh, what really matters is your file size, what file size you're targeting at because you know you don't want to take a lot of time uploading or what sh what another thing you got you know take mind when you're uploading is the bitrate so you really want to keep the quality or you really want to you know have a small file size. It's about sacrificing and giving up more. So Presets are a great way to start. So, um, you know, if there are presets that says YouTube 720p, go ahead and use it. And there's a reason why it's 4 MB instead of 20 MB. And there's a difference from Blu ray quality to YouTube quality. Uh, but what it basically does, sorry about, you know, these boring things, but, you know, this is something that I need to clear out so that you guys don't have, you know, a lot of confusion there. When you actually understand how, what, how rendering works, it's kind of easy and you will, you know, play around with rendering anytime you want to. So it says that um, uh, no matter how, you know, high your uh, bitrate is, let's just say you rendered at a preset of Blu-ray and if you upload it on YouTube, YouTube is going to kill the quality. Um, there's a certain amount of limit. I'm not so sure what is the limit. You may ask YouTube, but YouTube actually cuts down to uh, a video of what it can actually read and accept. So no matter how big your file size is, no matter how big your quality is, it's just gonna be the same. You know, do some trials and error. I've done uploading a lot of you know different qualities, and it's just that YouTube outputs it the same. So what's the good thing about uploading on web is that no matter how small or high the bitrate is, what you actually get is the same. Unless you know the bitrate is really really low, that it's gonna be a really bad quality. There's not gonna be a big difference. I know how much high quality you wanna get out of you know your video and all that kind of stuff. But you know, if you upload it on web, there's not much of a difference. So I'm, I don't suggest you know creating a lot of file size of image and all that kind of stuff. All right, I'm just gonna bring up a simple file here. Um, show you guys how I basically render. Um, I'm gonna, just gonna choose any file here. I'm um, just gonna drag that down. Uh, actually, I'm recording on 720p, so sorry if it's actually small. Um, okay. Um, basically, I do have a file here. When I'm rendering my final product final project I never render uncompressed take note uh, when I'm uploading a web or you know making a DVD or anything I never render uncompressed because that's the stupidest thing you're ever gonna do so let's just say I did some cuts right here I'm just gonna do some simple cut cut and I'm gonna render that so I'm just gonna click as render as and also one thing to take note is when rendering, uh, codec plays a big role. Uh, when you're uploading a web, H.264 and MPEG-4 seems to work uh, the best. So, you know, I suggest choosing those because, you know, it loads faster. But you can also choose WMV, but all that kind of stuff. But what you really have to understand is your camera settings, your camera frame size, your frame rate, your um, blending fields, uh, your frame rate. I said that frame rate. Um, your bit rate, whatever that is. Um, you know, you really need to know. If you don't know, you know, don't follow what people are saying on YouTube. I've seen lots of tutorials on YouTube and Vimeo that says follow my settings, follow my settings. Don't follow their settings because your camera is different from their camera and your project might be different from their project. So it is always best to stick with what you know and what you have. 
and um, again you can never improve a quality so it's uh, to get the best quality is always to uh, keep your maintain your quality that's the best thing you could do in my case when I actually render my final project I stick with MPEG 2 you know as of my experience MPEG 2 seems to work really well with a very small size again file size plays a big role here you don't want to have a huge and huge lots of file size but it does not really that matter um, you can use MPEG 4 um, MOV or WMV whatever you want um, so I'm just going to demonstrate here MPEG 2 and uh, again you can always start with a preset. Uh, if you know what your frame size is you know you can choose 720, 1080, it's up to you. But in my case I know my video was recorded on 1080p um, but what's really cool about Vegas is that it actually shows you what it really fits your needs. As you can see in one of the presets it shows, uh, you can see that right there. Um, let me just uh, bring it up right here and so you can see it a little bit better. Um, as you can see uh, in the preset it shows an equal sign and once it actually shows an equal sign it actually means that that will be the best settings for your video camera and uh, for your settings you're gonna render. So let's just try to choose that because Vegas can actually read what your file size is and we're gonna click custom because you never want to stick with the preset and um, here we go output type MPEG2 that's what we want to do because we don't want to render DVD or anything like that. Uh, you know, you must know your frame size, the height and the width, and your frame rate, and uh, it seems to get it correct. Yes, it's 16 by 9, and all that kind of stuff. You don't have to, uh, you can ignore some B frames and stuff. Um, profile, main, you can choose high if you want to choose high quality, but I like to choose main, and level is high, or you can choose high 1440 for better color space. But I'm going to go too detail on color space, all that kind of stuff. Just the basics. Field order, uh, it also depends. If your camera shoots on a... Um, upper fields or lower fields if it's 1080i you have to choose upper fields there's some stuff like that but mine is progressive um and um, video quality i wanted a high and uh you can use variable bitrate uh, if you check the two paths it's gonna render a longer time but it actually is gonna give you better quality because it's gonna uh read the file twice rather than you know doing it once um, but if you want to do it once you can just choose constant bitrate and it's gonna you know render the video uh, within a constant bitrate so the bitrate is not gonna change but in kind of variable bitrate you can vary different from your maximum and average and minimum uh, but I just like to stick on constant because it renders faster and you basically have a constant quality and bitrate means quality higher bitrate higher quality uh, but it does not mean if you have higher bitrate does not mean it's gonna, you're gonna get higher quality than your camera itself if your camera can only record at 10 million and if you put it there around 25 million what's the point you're, you're, you're only gonna get a quality of 10 million but you're gonna get a huge file size of 25 million so know your camera settings uh, I'm sure my DSLR can record up to like 45 MB so I'm just gonna choose 25 because we don't want to have a file huge size but just make sure you know your camera bitrate or you can just google it you know put your camera name down there and see what your bitrate is and advanced video I like my color space at 10 bit and um, audio, include audio stream, you go on audio there and choose audio codec, you want anything you want but I want my bitrate at the highest and sample rate, that's the 48, that's the DVD quality system, I would want to check that off and ch choose program and project at best and ok and I'm gonna render that you know, that's simple as it sounds Seriously, um, if you really you know understand how rendering works and bitrate and uh, codec and frame size, frame rate and everything, it's just easy and you'll get mess around with it and you'll find it easy to play around. So I hope this was helpful. Um, again, uncompressed is only there if you're gonna render a portion of video and if you're like transferring files to different programs just like I do and don't want to lose any kind of details on there. Well, that's a way to do it. But compression is really you know a good thing. You never want to un render uncompressed press to upload it on web okay um, so that was basically it and I hope this was helpful and uh, I'll see you guys next time bye